What is this? If you don't love me anymore, then why you need to remind yourself that we are divorced? Why you want to push me away after all? Enough! Slowly forgetting everyone and everything. I'm turning to a monster. So please, Leila, I'm begging you. Let me forget you. I really don't want to hurt you anymore. Do you remember me? Layla. Am I still that Layla you fall in love with? Mm. Am I? Yes. Then don't do this. Don't push me away while you still remember me. While you haven't forgot that you love me. Aren't you afraid that I hurt you again? Or that I forget you? I count to three. If you don't kneel in front of me, your son won't make it tonight. One, two. I'm begging you, please save my child. Why would I be afraid? We already divorced. I can leave you whenever I want. You shouldn't push me away just because you think you're right. You understand? If I'm going to leave you, then it will be on my own terms. Hayden, find peace and forget about me. Are you going to the office today? Yeah, I have to straighten some things, just in case if I end up on the operation table again. Hayden, don't say that. You might be in a 10%. <sighs> Come on, I already used all my luck just in meeting you. I already feel like I can't remember a lot of things. Even my memories of you are fragmented. Layla, I don't even really remember how I met you. Isn't it unfair that you are hurting and I'm slowly fading away? Tell me, what do you remember? I remember that we were deeply in love, but I was afraid to admit it. Anything else? Well, the first three years of our marriage was full of joy. But I'm scared to lose all this money. Money! Money! He has, won't go to school today and stay, but he wants he looking for his mommy. So the Smith family advised me to bring him here. Mommy, why are you back after this go that guy kicked us out? Who are you? She is not your mommy. What kind of kid are you to claim randomly that your mom lives here? You evil. Say sorry to my mommy. Tell us. You're such a bad guy. You will never let my mommy sleep. Your mommy? I never had kids with your so-called mommy, so get this bastard out of my house. Hey, this is our son. Don't you remember? What? How is it possible? How could I not know that you had a baby? Hayden, I left you when I was pregnant. Then, after five years, I come back with the Hellis. You let us live in your basement. But then, when I was in hospital, you take care of him because of me. I didn't. That was me. How, how can I forget my own child? So you're my dad? What's your name, son? Hello. I'm really sorry, Helios. Forgive me for forgetting you. Doctor, please help Hayden. He already forgot so much. He doesn't even 
remember his own son now. I'm sorry, but nothing can be done unless the tumor is removed. But it's too risky. Mr. McKinley's condition is getting worse. If this continues, in less than a week, he won't be able to recognize anyone. And by then, even if the operation is successful... He didn't say he wanted to wait until he lost his memory before having the operation. He probably want to let himself forget us so he could distance himself from us. Maybe he thought that it was easy. I'll pay a little bit. But it will be even more painful for me to watch how he slowly forget me. Heidi, I'll always be there for you. So don't you dare forget me. Miss Nayla! Uh, who are you? Miss Nayla. I am Joseph, Mr. Smith's assistant. You haven't contacted him for a few days. He's worried about you. He yeah. has been waiting for you to return. Well, please tell him that I can't go back just yet. Pardon me? Miss, Mr. Smith said that you must come back no matter what. Who the hell are you? How dare you touch my wife? Who the hell are you? How oh, dare you touch my wife? Hayden, Miss Leila is divorced from you. It's time for me to return her to the Smith family. Divorce? How could I possibly divorce Leila? I bet the Smith family planned some tricks on me, huh? So that he can hook up with her. Tell me, who should I beat up first? You. Joseph, when I settle the things here, I will go back and talk to them. I'm really sorry for the trouble. He didn't sign the divorce paper. He helped Miss Layla and the Smith family to get to know each other. Why is he backtracking now and pretending nothing ever happened? Joseph, please tell Mr. Smith that we are sorry. But Hayden, Hayden has a brain tumor and he's losing his memory. What? But situation here is only getting worse. He's forgetting everything. And Miss Leila is going to be the one who's going to accompany him for his final moments. And soon enough, he'll forget her too. But when the time comes, Layla will get back to the Smith family. And I hope that Smith family can accommodate this accordingly. You really divorced me because you wanted to have an affair with someone of the Smith family? Hayden, have you completely forgot about the past five years? What? You forced me to marry you three years ago, not five years ago. Are you really divorcing me because you want to run off to another rich guy's mansion? You're so shameless, aren't you? It looks like he forgot the last five years of our lives after he returned from the office. Do you even remember why you went back to the office today? Yeah. Just needed to settle a collaboration with her. West Group. But you don't need to change the subject on me, okay? Hayden, I wouldn't do anything to betray you. This mess is just my family. I didn't know you were so shameless. You call yourself the daughter of the richest family in the world. Do you really think I can do this to you? I didn't know you were so shameless to call yourself the daughter of the richest family in the world. I don't do anything that can do this to you. Hayden, you never loved me. Make a good point. 
From the moment on, you dropped me to force to marry you. You meant nothing to me. I never loved you. Hayden, I don't get it. You are nice to me. You think you're disgusted with me. Tell me, which one is the real? Does it hurt? Next time, don't let any man touch you again. Otherwise it will be even worse. Of course. By the way, do you know where Maria is? You can ask the Nelson family about her. She's your sister. You should know where she is. Hayden. You do know that Maria is not my real sister. She is a biological daughter of the Nelson family, and I am just adopted one. Well, you should also know that Maria is in jail. How can that be? Well, you should also know that Maria is in jail. How can that be? Someone as kind as Maria would go to jail. Someone was setting her up. Was it you, Lila? You don't know anything. Are you really just going to assume that I'm the bad guy here? You're always such a nasty bitch. Did you forget that Maria Nelson went to jail because she tried to hurt me? You're just jealous of Maria, that she is the true Nelson's family heir. After she returned, there was just no any need for you anymore. So you got rid of her. Do you? You are the one who destroys everything. Hayden, that's enough. Then are you coming with me right now to confess that Maria is innocent and to confess that you are the reason why she is in prison? I said it's enough. Did I strike a nerve? You better come in with me right now and getting Maria out of jail. How dare you! After warming up your way in the Smith family, do you dare to hit me? Maria step me. Have you come to your senses, Hayden? I can live with you forgetting me. But how could you forget what Maria did? At least you get to blissfully forget all of it. But what about me? Layla. Hayden, I won't care for you anymore. Layla. It's all my fault. I hurt him because I was angry. I don't blame you, Nana. You have done a good job. I don't think anyone has been able to stand seeing I hadn't tried to defend Maria. Just didn't realize that his condition became worse so fast. It's been less than half a month, and I already have the schedule and operation for him. I'm just so scared. Lela. Hidden, it's all I have left. What I will do if he left me behind? Who's there? It's so noisy. Hayden, you're awake. Hayden, do you remember me? Yeah, you're my wife, you're Lila. Yes, I'm your wife, Lila. Other than our wedding day, I really can't remember anything else. It's okay. It's actually good that you just remember this day. Hayden, have some water. 
Thanks, nurse. What did you call me?